boys who will stop your little game. We are the boys who will make you think again. Cause who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done, Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21. But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun. So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done. Well, uh, according to my calculations, we ought to be opposite Jones's butcher's shop in the high street. You mean you're lost? What? Well, I, I'm not the only one who's lost. I, I think we all are. How much petrol have we got left, Jim? About half a gallon, sir. Half a gallon? Yeah. Sponge? Yes, Captain Manry. Did you fill this tank yesterday? I didn't have any coupons. But, but Walker was supposed to be supplying the coupons. Ah, yes, he couldn't get the ink dry in time. <laughs> Walker. Walker. Uh, 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 <laughs> That's a nasty uh, cold you've got, Mr. Man. You should be in bed, you should. No, oh, never mind that. The point is, we can't stay cooped up in this van all night. We'd better get up to the house and find some help. No, you can't go out in this pouring rain. You might catch pneumonia. Nonsense. Let me out. No, 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 no. What are you doing? I must restrain you, sir. I will not allow you to catch pneumonia. A drop of rain won't harm me. Jones is right, Captain Manling. I knew a fellow once, just your age and weight he was. He had a slight head cold and got caught in the rain. Five days later, I was screwing the handles on his coffin. (laughs) I know a way we can keep dry, Captain Manling. Hang on a minute. Don't you worry, sir. I won't allow Fraser to screw the handles on your coffin. Get in out of the pouring rain. Well, Marching into a house without being invited. Hello? Anybody about? Hello? Anyone there? Wilson, right. let's put the lights on. Right. Well, they don't work, sir. Light those candles on the table, Spun. Yes, Mr. Bannerin. Now, listen to me, everybody. I want absolute silence so that I can hear anyone answer when I call. Right? Hello! <laughs> I said absolute silence, Pike. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Manry. I'm very f- f- crazy. Excuse me, sir. Don't you think that boy ought to get out of those wet clothes? Well, what, am I, what am I going to put on? I can't stand around naked, can I? Commissioner <laughs> speaks up! Yeah. Oh, come down here. I can't get a word you're saying. Why doesn't he put one of those flag things on him? A flag? Yes. That's a pretty good idea. Go and get one down. Give him a lift, gentlemen. All right, take your clothes off, boy. (laughs) I don't don't like to. No, no, Frank, now don't be stupid. Frank, just do as you're told, will you? All right. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look. Wilson, uh, Wilson. I think that boy's going soft in the head. <laughs> All the mollycoddling, the mollycoddling that you do just only makes it worse. Yeah, well, you see, I, I do feel rather responsible for him. And if I don't look after him, well, you see, maybe uh, Mrs. Pike, you know, goes around with such a miserable look on her face. 
And, and you know, I simply can't stand people looking miserable. <laughs> you don't feel the, there's a strange kind of feeling about this place, sir. There's something amiss, sir. Something, something strangely amiss. Stop rolling your eyes, Fraser, and pull yourself together. <laughs> There's a logical explanation for everything that's happened. I feel stupid in this. <laughs> Firstly, you know, I, I think you look rather nice. <laughs> Mr. Manning, I'm, I'm freezing to death. I'm freezing. For heaven's sake, will you stop whining, Pike? I just have to improvise something, that's all. Ah, Wilson. All right. Let me handle this rug. Oh, yes, of course. Come on, Fred. Come on, Fred. Come on, Fred. Come on, Yes. <laughs> Stupid boy. <laughs> this door's locked. What? Let's try upstairs. <laughs> Permission to whisper, sir. <laughs> I think there's something horrible about. Hello, dog. Come on, upstairs. <laughs> That's no ordinary dog. <laughs> That's a hound. <laughs> I think we ought to go back to the van, you know. I don't get on with dogs, even small ones. They, they upset me. You know, my sister Dolly had a peek in it. used to jump up at me a lot. In the end, I, I had to order it to leave. <laughs> <coughs> These dogs are outside. They can't do any harm. Come on, upstairs. Come on. <laughs> Extraordinary thing, Wilson. This house appears to be empty. It's a fire, sir. Look there. Whoever was here must have left very suddenly. I mean, that fire, fire's still burning. Yes. Question is, Captain Munnery. Mm. Why did they leave? Let's <laughs> <laughs> it. It's kind of uncanny. This old house, the fire still burning the grate. Nobody about. Nothing except the wind and rain and those. Ghostly hounds howling, howling, howling. <laughs> Told you to stop rolling your eyes, Fraser. <laughs> Just control it. Sorry. Go and dry your clothes by the fire. Yes, Mr. Manning. Now pay attention, everybody. It's quite on the cards that this storm will go on for the rest of the night. Oh. And we don't know where we are, and we haven't any petrol. So we just have to make. The best of a bad job, and settle down here for the night. All right? I shall take this bed here. <laughs> the rest of you, make yourselves as comfortable as possible. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Um, where am I going to sleep? In that bed there. Oh. But well, where are the others going to sleep? In that bed with you. What? <laughs> well, that's absurd. I think you're probably one of the most selfish men I've ever met in my life. <laughs> What gives you the right to think that you're entitled to a bed to yourself? Well, I... I uh... Right, that's settled then, isn't it? <laughs> Five of you will get into bed with Sergeant Wilson. NCOs at the top, other ranks at the bottom. <laughs> and you other two can sleep on the settee. Oh, thank you. Right. Oh, you're right. Stop! No! <laughs> <laughs> yes, ten minutes. 
sir. What are you doing? What? Well, uh, sir. I can't allow you to get in that bed, sir. It's absolutely ringing damp. I will not allow you to catch pneumonia. Oh, nonsense. You. Uh, sit down, sir. Sit down. I'll warm you up, sir. Warm you up. What's he going to do, Mr. Jones? <laughs> I'm going to do what the young serving wenches used to do when they warmed the master up. <laughs> I don't think Captain Monner will want to cuddle you all night. I don't know, friend. You know, this is quite unnecessary. You allow me to be the best judge of that, sir. There we are. <laughs> all right, get into bed, the rest of him. Well, it's not done all the time. I'm pushed around from pillar to pillar. I'm fed up with it. Um, What's all this muttering about, Sponge? You know how I hate muttering. But, well, sir, we don't see why we should sleep at the bottom of the bed. Why can't we toss for it? Certainly not. Do as you're told and get into bed. Oh, blimey. There you are, sir. Look at all that steam arising, sir. Just look at it. I told you them sheets were damp, didn't I, sir? Good look heavens, at it you're all right, yes. Yeah. The bed doesn't <laughs> make enough steam. It's more like smoke to me. What? The, bed's hem, the bed's on fire. Get some water. Get some water. Get some water. Stupid, idiotic things to do. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I, I was just trying to, you know, warm you up, sir. Uh, this bed's absolutely soaking wet now. Now, what am I going to sleep? In that bed. Officers and NCOs at the top, other ranks at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, Mr. Bernerine? Fraser. Yes, sir. Shut that door. What? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep. Mm. Well, look. What? Can I please come into bed with you, please? Oh. <laughs> you better ask uh, uh, Captain Mannering. Mm. Uh, Jones. Uh. 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 Jones. Oh, Pikey, oh. I thought my last days had come. <laughs> Would you ask Mr. Mannering if I can get into bed, please? Yes, yes, Pikey. Uh. Mr. Manrin, sir. Yes, have I? Have I? Five round rapid. <laughs> Young Pike, yes. he wants to know, can he come into bed with us? Certainly not. There's no room. <laughs> he says, certainly not. There's no room. He says, certainly not. All there's no right, room. I heard. <laughs> if it was up to me, I'd let you come in. But you see, he's the, uh, isn't he? He's the officer. Well, will you come to the bathroom with me, please? What? <laughs> I've got, I've got to wash my hands and clean my teeth. Sir. You know, Mum won't let me go to bed without washing my hands and cleaning my teeth. Oh, really, Frank? Really, really, really? No, no, no. If you don't come, I'll tell Mum. <laughs> All right, you know, you are an awful nuisance. You really are. Well, now, come on, then. <sighs> Mr. Fraser. Oh, God! <laughs> Godfrey. <laughs> what do you want, son? I've got to go to the little boy's room. <laughs> Will you come with me? No, nothing would induce me to budge from this room. There's too many unnatural causes. It's the natural causes that worry me. <laughs> Yes, yes. Will you accompany me to the bathroom? Certainly not. <laughs> Mr. Jones. <laughs> 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 
Oh, will, you, will you accompany me to the bathroom? Yes, yes. I'll accompany you to the bathroom, oh, yes. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm most grateful to you. Yeah. And if we meet one of them horrible hounds, I'll let him have it right up. <laughs> Glass, wake up. Oh, wake right? up, and glass, wake it? up. No, Frank, no, Frank, 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 would you, oh, would you please go back to sleep? And glass, oh, there's, there's someone coming up the stairs. What? Is he? You better wake up, Captain Mannering. All right. Oh. Whatever it is, it's, it's coming towards this room. I don't think it's one of the horrible hounds. <laughs> the footsteps is too heavy. <laughs> Shh, quiet. Blow the candles out. I say, what are you doing in my bedroom? <laughs> You know, I must admit, you, you, you really gave us quite a fright. You know, I'm last awfully night. sorry about that. But if, if the storm hadn't put the lights out of action, I wouldn't have been outside tinkering with the generator when you arrived. <laughs> so there were your dogs that we heard. Mm. Storm must have upset them. What do you use them for, sir? Ah, this is a dog training school. We train tracker dogs for the war office. Hey! <laughs> I knew all along it was something of that description. <laughs> Things are a bit slack at the moment, so I've given most of the rest of the staff weekend leave. Oh, I see. <laughs> Frank, what on earth are you doing dressed like that? It's some sort of joke, Frank. My uniform's still wet. The captain gave me this, thank you. I'm afraid it's the only one we had. It's an old German uniform we use for training. I see. <laughs> well, come on, we better go and get that petrol. I'll come with you. Yes, um, it's only about a mile if you go kind of the field. Oh, um, by the way, I'm awfully sorry, I haven't got a can, but, um... <laughs> There are stacks of empty gin bottles in the yard. <laughs> well, we shall need plenty. We'll, we'll carry a gin bottle each. Mm. Uh, come on, chaps. Good brisk walk over the fields. Do us a world of good. All right, quiet, you lot. Quiet. Settle down at once. Quiet. Settle down. Well, mm. certainly seem to have them under control. Uh, uh, these, these are only half trained raw recruits. The fully trained batch left yesterday. Not a bad bunch, really. Except for that one. <laughs> Prince 439, he's a real troublemaker. Upsets the others. Yes, you 439. Stand to attention when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Hail the horse three times. Had him on a charge twice. If he fails this time, he'll be out in his ear. You know how it is, he'll get one rotten apple in the barrel. Oh, yes, yes, quite. <laughs> Fall the men in, Sergeant. I. <laughs> oh, excuse me, sir. Do you want us to carry our gin bottles at the slope? <laughs> Isn't it a lovely morning, sir? Absolutely first class, yes. What exactly are those dogs of yours for? They're trained to track down German parachutes. You must have quite a way with dogs. Not really, no. I, I'm scared stiff of them. I, I've got nothing to do with the training. I just run the admin. Uh -huh. 
Open the gates, walk up. up. Those dogs of yours certainly got loud voices, sir. Yes, care for miles. <laughs> what happens when they've tracked down a parachutist? They hold him till the troops arrive. That, that's when they're fully trained. At the moment, they've only completed half the course, the tracking bit. What's the second half? The holding, that's the most difficult bit. We have to train them not to tear the victory to pieces. Oh. <laughs> Captain Anderson, we might stop a moment. Oh, really, God <laughs> All right, section halt, fall out. You silly old fool. Said he shouldn't have come. He'll never be able to give up. All right, all right. Captain Mannerin. Those dogs are definitely getting louder. I think Walker's right. <laughs> quiet, quiet, everybody. Let's listen. They must have gone out. I bet it's that troublemaker prince. They won't come after us, will they? Well, I, I don't see why they should. Good Lord! The, the uniform the boy's wearing, it, it's covered in aniseed. Aniseed? Get it off at once, Pike. I'm going to take my... <laughs> oh, oh, look, now, now you're covering the stuff, Mannerin. Well, can't you control the dogs? Of course I can't. The horrible hounds are after us. Oh, yeah. He cannot control the dogs. Don't panic. He cannot control the dogs. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. What? Run. <laughs> I can't go another step. What are we going to do, Captain Man? We can't leave poor old Mr. Godfrey get torn to pieces by those horrible hounds. Hey, hey what, what about using those sheep things and dragging them along? Well done, Walker. Sponge, Desmond, get one of those sheep things. Aren't you going to get your boots off, sir? Certainly not. I'm not getting my feet wet with this cold. Right, right. You don't want to catch pneumonia as well as getting torn to pieces. Now, you can take me across on the hurdle. Godfrey can walk that little bit. <laughs> right, you're going to cross the stream low down. Why do I always have to be the one? Who don't now. You just do as you're told, boy. You'll put the dogs off the scent. <laughs> Forward. get all wet like this. Well, there's anything we could do. Dogs can't follow a scent across water. Any fool knows that. Hey, Captain? Absolutely. Believe me, Wilson, I, I'm pretty shrewd judging these matters. <laughs> There's no room in here. You'll have to climb up a tree. <laughs> I can't climb a tree in my time of life. <laughs> Take your, your <laughs> I can't climb. Please go. <laughs> It's that 
troublemaker Prince. He's behind it all. You've had your chips this time, four, three, nine. I'll have you in a charge with Molly. I'm in a fizzer. You will be out of this camp so fast your feet won't touch the ground. <laughs> Are you there, Jones? Yeah, I'll be here, sir. But I'm almost here. Almost all of me. I have to report I've suffered damage in unknown parts. <laughs> Stay where you are. I'm going for help. Right, man. No. No, no, Mr. Wilson. Just keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Manning, if the boy takes his clothes off and throws them to the dogs, that might keep him busy while we sneak away. Good idea. Pike, take off your clothes and throw them down to the dogs. <laughs> you should tell her I'll put you on a charge. <laughs> Fidder. In the past 24 hours, I've been soaked to the skin three times, been scared out of my wits, nearly torn to pieces, and now I've got to walk around naked. <laughs> Well, don't look. <laughs> Blimey, Joe, look. Them dogs are tearing that in from the pieces. Yeah. Good job, Pike. He wasn't in it. <laughs> now I want you all to get down and walk away as calmly as possible. <laughs> Mr. Manrin, it's all right. <laughs> Stuck. Give me a hand, Wilson. <laughs> I'm pushing as hard as I can, sir. Ah! My foot just stepped on. Captain <laughs> Manrin, I, I get claustrophobia. <laughs> this is no use. Come on. Lift. <laughs> Good. Now, now walk slowly, and when I say run, run. Right. 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 Right.